This is a HeadGum Podcast. I swear, if this does not work this time around, I'm done. <laughs> we I'm can't so give over. up. We have to go back. <laughs> Hi, guys. This, this is, is Complications with Rachel. <laughs> I'm Rachel. I'm Chris. And we have now recorded this how many times? Three? I think this is number three. I want to die. <laughs> this is so extra. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with our fucking audio recorder, but... It just, like, the files were there, but there was nothing there. Like, there was nothing on them. There's nothing there. There's nothing this there. The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so that's why we missed thursdays i hated that i know it was upsetting we've only done that once before but we took a day off because of our anniversary the last time yeah so hopefully that doesn't happen again i think this is good let's knock on wood you said that last time yeah i said that last time (laughs) it's fine (laughs) um yeah hopefully this goes up all good on sunday you know what i'm saying exactly so what are we um, drinking tonight? We are drinking a roast from Bincho Melissa Andrade. Mm. Uh, she sent us this black coffee. That's, Ooh. that's the brand, black coffee. This packaging, though. Yeah, it's a very nice matte black bag. It's a matte black cock. It's a matte black cock, exactly. <laughs> is it a rooster or a hen? We'll never know. <laughs> uh, this is black coffee, air roasted, caffeinated. Good, because that's what I need right now. Uh, oh, this is the bold blend it says here on the tag oh, i love that, that i love the so packaging mean. this is very nice it's v minimal i like the clip that comes in now this is from la Ooh, intrigue. oh fancy <laughs> so we're I mean, drinking this coffee out of our uh oh my god you're right out of our coffee with Rachel mugs that finally showed up for us <laughs> guys we were like the last ones to get them yeah <laughs> and that is fine <laughs> so, you guys get them first totally did you see my face swap with my mug Oh my god, that was fucking fabulous. Did you post that on Twitter? It was on Snapchat. Or maybe it was on Twitter too. But I face swapped with my face on the mug and it looked really That was really up. great. The best <laughs> use of marketing for my brand. With a capital B. <laughs> So uh, uh, you can yeah. check out districtlines.com slash Rachel Whitehurst to get your own Coffee with Rachel mug. Uh, yeah, but this black coffee, it's really good. I'm enjoying this right I'm now. I'm really enjoying this. Um, so. Yeah. What's going on with you, Chris? What's what's new in your life? Uh, well, you know, we discovered a new ice cream, a new food. Oh, true. Now, this has been an ongoing saga in our lives. We have been trying to find something that is, you know, not horrible like a Ben and Jerry's pint. You yeah. know, we want something to be a little bit better for us. And so we have found something located at Whole Foods. I, how did I find this? It was probably like a BuzzFeed. I, it was like 99% sure BuzzFeed. I know. Because I go on there and they'll be like, oh, this really healthy food. And I'm like, yes. And I bick, I yeah. bick mark. <laughs> Not bick mark. Not bick mark. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. It's, yeah, it's called Halo Top. And we're not sponsored, but they. Oh, they could. They absolutely <laughs> can call me. Um, <laughs> but I've never, I've only been to Whole Foods like twice. I just go in there and I'm like, I can't, too expensive. And then I leave. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But they have it there, and it's like 280 calories for the whole pint. Which is like amazing. <laughs> it's like 1500 yeah. for like a Ben & Jerry's whole pint, probably. Definitely above 1000 I'd say. Yeah, it's a lot. But that's fine, because you can't stop yourself from eating a pint. Like, it's already... They say it's portioned, you know, like you're There's supposed to get like four. four. That's bullshit. Like, they don't make it that size... Like, there's only room for one little spoon. Yeah. Like, you I have to three spoonfuls, that's one serving? That's... No. Suck my ass, honestly. Like Sometimes, when you're getting a Ben & Jerry's, it's like all Heath Bar in your first scoop. Yeah, exactly. What's the ratio there? Like, how am I supposed to know? Or the uh, mint cookie one. You know, you get, like, a whole damn Oreo in there. Really? I haven't yeah. gotten that one. Yeah, but anyway, happens. we tried that shit from Whole Foods, and it's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, it's made with real milk, so that's a thing. Yeah, so it's not like a vegan but, one, but... Uh, we were trying... We did Trader Joe's coconut milk ones. And those are really delicious. They're really good, but they're not like They're not like much, great for you. Yeah, either. not that much better. So oh, but they taste really good. That strawberry one is so good. Mm-hmm. Whatever. They have like a... 
bunch of flavors too, and it's really awesome. It's mostly for like you because the one thing that you can't ever get rid of is like your sweet food. Yeah, and plus like I still have uh, heartburn and uh, acid reflux, and so sometimes having a nice ice cream helps that out. True, you know, the dairy really helps calm those things. Yeah, calms me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that cow commercial. Where it's like that farmer and he's like really obscene. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> he, he like it's I think it's a yogurt commercial and he like walks out into the middle of a field and he goes up to this one cow and he's just like, I love the dairy you make <laughs> or something <laughs> like he's like the yogurt that comes from your milk, from your teats, really gets me going. <laughs> like, and it's the creepiest. Like, you know, he's fucked that cow before. It's the new Folgers incest. Commercial. Oh yeah, it's the new one. <laughs> I see it on like the Food Network, and like that channel usually keeps it really wholesome. And so when that commercial comes on, I'm like, oh my god, it's just very. It's a little PG thirteen. <laughs> Let's not sexualize cows. Let's just really not, you know. I definitely don't need that in my life. He probably really loves those commercials where it's like the cows that are just like part of the family and like they have like their own those bedrooms like in California the house. California milk ones yeah. or whatever. And they really like they do the whole like furry thing where the cow is kind of like a human but yes. a cow. He probably loves those. Yeah, definitely. It's I don't. Cool. I don't love those. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> but uh, speaking of just like ice cream, uh, we had a pretty long discussion about you know. Our our vessels of ice cream and our favorite forms of ice cream because this is a a wide topic. It reminds me of the debate of the soda containment. Oh yes, from what? 2015. Yeah, you know? soda containment of 2015. Yeah, that <laughs> act was passed where it was proven that getting it straight out of the tap is the best way. It's got the most bite. <sighs> I guess. And bottle is like just so low on my list. Whatever you say. I'm still not agreeing with you on this. It's just because it's so variable. There's some there's some fountains that don't give you enough syrup. But I'm talking about like, oh my god, we're going to get back into this. This is going to be like a thing that reoccurs. <laughs> but on the best day, what is your choice? That's the thing I'm saying. Like the best soda fountain. Not I'm not talking about a lukewarm 2 liter. Like, in its prime condition. You know well, what I'm saying? Yeah, I get it. I I guess. I don't know. I still really like the bottle. I cannot believe this. They go flat, guys. Like, they go flat. No, I, I don't like drinking, like, a two-liter bottle and pouring it out into a glass. I'm talking about, like, getting, like, just a regular one a serving bottle. Of bottle. Yeah, yes. And drinking the whole thing then. I That is Plastic my... or glass. Either this is a one. whole other, yeah. Either one. I haven't, I haven't really, really had much experience with glass. Yeah, you know, that's too bougie for us. <laughs> yeah, that's like when you're buying a high-end Coke. Like, who's doing that out there? <laughs> like, I want to spend an extra dollar on this glass bottle. Like, that... I, I did get one. And it's still at my house. And then home. you don't drink it, see? Yeah, and uh, it was because I went to the Coca-Cola factory in Georgia. Oh, it was in Georgia? Yes. I was like, I think I've been there, but... <laughs> That's just that the Hershey a, factory. That was a wild place. Cause Speaking of cows, the Hershey factory and that one ride where you oh ride God, through yes. and there's the cows that sing oh and I, I love them. Anybody been to Chocolate World, you know what we're talking about. Chocolate World. It's like honestly the most lackluster thing I've ever been <laughs> don't, to. Don't say that to me. What? Don't, I love that damn ride every time. Well, I just know that they're making shitty chocolate. Like imagine going to like... A Swiss chocolate fucking ride through their factory. Listen, it was a lot better back then. The chocolate's not gray in Switzerland, okay? (laughs) Now, now knowing where the chocolate is, I don't quite enjoy it. But, you know, it was, it was a prime back in the day. Is it even real chocolate that they're churning out in that ride? Not in the ride. I don't think. I don't know. Because, like, what do they use, you think? Like, it looks like a yogurt with, like, a lot of brown food coloring. Who knows? I wonder. That's interesting. That's something we can look up on how it's made. <laughs> Mythbusters. But uh, when I went to the uh, Coca-Cola factory in Georgia, they had this whole room that was dedicated to trying all the different products that they have all around the world. Oh, shit. Yeah. And like so, candy? No, I'm just like they're different drinks. Oh, Like those. they're different Coke drinks, and they don't serve all of their drinks in all of the regions. What and was so, the best one? 
that we don't have here. Oh God, I couldn't tell you honestly. I, I only. <laughs> How remember, old were you? Uh, I was somewhere in high school. Okay. The, I just know that like there's this one. I don't even know which country that it's served in, but it's like try the soda if you dare because it tastes so bad. Ew. Yeah, and I tasted it. it tasted bad. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Or like, that's crazy you know, that was a really build up story there but <laughs> that's kind of like all right <laughs> this is a really weird story <laughs> in seventh grade we had the weird science teacher who like ideally honestly now in my adult like i would probably love the weird science teacher but like you know when you get the weird science teacher yeah. when you're in middle school yes so we had him i don't even know his name <laughs> and there was this one thing that we got to do when we were learning, like, the table of elements, and we were learning about mineral... Wow. Mineralogy. <laughs> yeah, mineralogy. And so he gave us, like, a rock, you know, rock salt, basically, and he passed it around, and, like, you could lick it, and that was, like, what you were supposed to do. What? And, like, yeah, and you were supposed to be like, oh, it's salty, you know? <laughs> but then you, like, but the myth which is, like, the middle school legend, was that, like, that rock had been tasted by, like, so many fucking uh. people. So, like, it was embarrassing if you, like, now at the time in seventh grade, it would be, like, you were the loser if you licked it. Oh my and, like, God. I didn't lick it, no. <laughs> but I really wanted to. <laughs> but I didn't care. I figured he would have sanitized it in some way. I, would that even be allowed now? No, I don't think it would that be would not now. be allowed anymore. <laughs> that abs- no, absolutely. Do you think not. about like how many things that went down in elementary school that would not fly at all now? Yeah, probably. My not. my mom works in an elementary school and she tells me that like the teachers like you know how like you would like hug your teacher? Yeah. Like you can't even do that now. That's fucking and wild. like obviously it's really fucked up as to why that's happening, you know, yes. why that has to be a rule, but like there's, like, no touching now, and it's, like, I mean, cell phones change the whole game. Mm-hmm. All these kids have cell phones. The, I've been reading a lot. They're, the, uh, like, Apple Watch and stuff like that. Oh. They're really changing, like, test taking and stuff. There's <gasps> apparently, like, apps that, like, That's you, so could, smart. you could just do something real quick, and it changes it to a clock face. Whoa. So that way you can be, like, looking at something, but if a teacher's walking by, it quickly goes to clock face. Apps for cheating. Yeah. That is insane. Wow. Technology. Like, no one's writing anything anymore. Like, that's no. why. <laughs> oh, my God. Did I, remember when I went to take whatever test that was to, like, back when I wanted to be an English teacher and I had to take some sort of testing. Oh, man. Yeah. And it was basically like, you still suck at math, Rachel. <laughs> that was the gist. And I made a whole video about it because they, like, straight up thought I was trying to, like, swindle my way through this test <laughs> and, like, cheat my way through. Like, at first, they didn't think that my ID looked like me, so they thought I was someone filling in for Rachel Whitehurst to take this test. What the fuck? Who would hire me to take a math test? No, I have no idea. Think about that. Like, that's, that's not... really fucked up. Not a solid plan. <laughs> no. No, it's not. And then I had a tote bag that had writing on it, and they thought that was, like, code. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then... Yes, I, I embroidered this bag last night. <laughs> yeah, and then, remember, I had a coffee, and they made me throw it away. You're hiding notes in your liquids. <laughs> and then... They and it was like early in the morning, and that's why I was upset about the coffee thing. And then I took I took out I took out a Bird's Bees chapstick, and they thought that was also shady. So a lot went down. God damn, that's that, an old video. That, that was like five years ago. Yeah, I remember that. God, <laughs> I still remember being so like anxious because I was just there to like really not fail this test, and mm-hmm. they took everything: my coffee, my chapstick, my pride, my identity. <laughs> Oh, my God. Anyway. Um, going way back, I asked you about uh, vessels and mm. uh, forms of ice cream. An ice cream husk. Ice cream husk, yes. <laughs> um, there's obviously lots of different forms that you can get an ice cream in. But let's talk about the vessels The vessel, first. not the treasure. Yes, Okay. exactly. Um, All right, top tier for me is going to be a waffle cone. Freshly made. Waffle freshly cone. waffled. Yes. Waffle cone. Exactly. That's what I'm feeling, too. Below that. I'm going to go with that. It's so lame, but that sugar cone, the one with the flat bottom. Okay. And it's got like. It's got like weird containment centers. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it has weird pockets and entryways and fucking. Vacuoles. <laughs> it, it looks like 
you split open a cell <laughs> inside the bottom of that sugar cone. And then the ice cream never gets all the way down to the bottom, so then so you're just crunching on the cone. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> oh, wow. And you cut your tongue a little bit and your yeah, gums. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> After this. that, I'd probably pick a dish. Just like a, a I cup. would pick a, all right, so waffle cone, then waffle bowl. Oh, my God. I forgot about a, waffle bowl. I know. Holy I know. Shit. Then chocolate dipped cone with jimmies. Oh, my God. Jeez. I'm I know. I'm not thinking about a lot. Then the sugar cone. That's a cell in mitosis. <laughs> then a bowl. But no, 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 no. Not a bowl. A huh. mug. Oh. A mug of ice cream. Yeah. It keeps good. it cold. You have a handle. Yes. Then it would be a bowl. And the last would be a paper bowl. Yeah. However, paper bulk does come in handy when you're wearing lipstick and you don't want to, like, fucking stuff a whole waffle cone in your face. Mm -hmm. So. I think mine's pretty much going to follow your way, except for the waffle bowl is going to be a little bit lower on my list. I I just like the waffle. I think there's sometimes just a little bit more hassle than what they're worth. (sighs) Whatever. Because you still have to have another bowl. Yeah. It's 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 wasteful and I like it. It's a lot. I know. It's extra. What Uh, about texture of ice cream? I'm gonna say my top tier is a nice hard scoop of like fresh made ice cream. Not like fresh, but like, like you know what I mean? Not from the fucking grocery store. Okay. So like at a place. At a place. Okay. In a waffle cone. Yeah. With Mr. Colonel <laughs> and the candlestick. <laughs> In, In the, the library. Foyer. Okay. Bestiary. Conservatory. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I couldn't think of it. Bestiary? <laughs> what the fuck? We're not in Teen Wolf. We're not <laughs> looking up fucking mythical creatures. <laughs> they always make that joke. <laughs> um, yeah, my favorite texture would have to be a soft serve, but it's really cold, so it's really got, like, it's got it's a solid. stiffness. I, I know what you're saying. You know what I mean? And yeah. that dipped in a chocolate dip. I know exactly what I'm thinking of because it's the banana soft serve yeah. with the chocolate dip. Guys, if you haven't tried that, <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Would God. you put Froyo in this mix? Is Froyo its own thing, or does that get to be included in our level? If we're of talking ice frozen cream? treats, okay. we'll include popsicles. Oh my God, popsicles! <laughs> <laughs> popsicles! You, you can tell I'm getting jazz. Oh shit! Okay, so obviously soft serve ice cream, and then like a hard scoop of like a nice place. Yes. Then I would put. I'm gonna flip my top two for what you said. You want hard soft serve? and then like that hard soft serve, you know. Oh, okay, saying? okay. And then fuck. I'm going to say Like a good grocery store type. Really? Hmm. I might actually Maybe say Froyo not. after that. Yeah. I was in my heart I was thinking about it. I, I didn't like Froyo. Okay, cool. I really like Froyo. Un- the tart one for me. Oh yeah. You know, I like the original tart, because yeah. that's me. Uh, I don't that, know. I, I pick a whole bunch of different kinds. That then sherbet, ooh, and specifically the kind of sherbet that has been piped out of a thing like soft serve on a cone. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like that texture. If you get it at the grocery store, it's like hard as a fucking. It's like rock. shards of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, like then after that, I would say like a sorbet. Okay. Like I feel it. I think my least favorite type of ice cream, which is incidentally the most frequent vessel I have ice cream, is a pint. Oh wow, really? Because it's I think it's because it's so accessible and I <laughs> I like think about all the times that I shouldn't be eating a whole pint of ice cream when I eat it. <laughs> so I'd rather like treat myself to like an ice cream out. Okay. I instead of you. one that I eat sadly in my bed. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> that's like my lowest one. Oh wait, no. My lowest one is like the ice cream that comes in the paper cup and you have like a fucking popsicle stick that you're supposed to eat it oh with. Oh my god, I love those. <laughs> wow. I love those for like the nostalgia of the Popsicles are like their whole other thing, I feel. Yeah, I don't know if they fit in here. And it's like a regular popsicle, then an icy. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, like your soft serve? You know how there's two ways you'd have soft serve? It's either like the Dairy Queen style where it's just like a tube or there's like... It's oh, got like it's that. got like points. You know what I mean? Points. Points. Yeah. That's I like the fluting. That I really... want my ice cream to be as feathered as Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> <laughs> that really, you know, catches the jimmies. Yes. And okay, is it sprinkles or jimmies for you? It's sprinkles. For it's me. jimmies. You grew up in the Philadelphia area. Chocolate jimmies. 
Uh, sprinkles. Rainbow jimmies on a nice soft serve. <laughs> <laughs> what other toppings do you enjoy? Because obviously I love a nice sprinkle. I like the chocolate top. I'm not a fan of having like chocolate or fudge or like hot syrup fudge? on it. Well, I don't like chocolate hot. syrup. Like, ew. I don't like chocolate syrup. No. I can do hot fudge, but I used to do like a banana with okay. hot fudge and that was fucked up. I don't up. really like having anything hot. With oh, it's so good. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, I don't like the shell that you can buy oh, in the no, store, yeah. but I like the chocolate dip like that, out of place. Yeah. And I like Jimmy's. I don't like nuts. No, not nuts. I'm pretty basic with my I ice rarely cream. would have anything other than like a Jimmy. But then when you go to Froyo, there's like oh, a million options. I will put everything. I mm. mostly do fruit because I get the original See, tart. I'm the total opposite. I always do more of the chocolatey kind of things i do fruit and i'll do like coconut sprinkles and i do those things that you hate that are like the fruity poppers. caviar <laughs> yeah <laughs> you hate those i love i them. hate them so much he doesn't like anything that gushes i don't so um i'm trying to think of what else they have there like um what they usually have like broken up candy bars and stuff and that's usually what i go for yeah, i don't go for any of that i do that shit when you're at like a place where they're doing the thing where they like fucking knead your ice cream into a surface oh like cold stone stuff yeah like yeah. that's when i get like fun stuff in my ice that's cream. like getting ben and jerry's made with things that you like because they mold in all this it's shit so weird i wonder how like strong their forearms are no oh, it's gotta be because it's like a hard scoop ice cream and they're like can you imagine coming home after work Oh Depending if you guys have worked at a Well, Cold remember Stone. when my right arm started hurting from all the scooping I was doing at the anchor? Yeah, and you were just scooping it out of there. They got to, like, fucking mold it. But it was, shit. like, we had, we would, like, hug the barrels to, like, moisten yeah, them. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and, like, and we were wearing just, like, t-shirts, so, like, every day my shirt would just be, like, covered in moisture <laughs> from, like, hugging stupid barrels of ice cream. Yeah. Because they were so fucking frozen. God damn. Did I ever tell you about the time I got locked in the freezer at Target? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So when I was working at Target, I was working at the Starbucks. And if you if your Target like has like a grocery store type of component, then there's usually like a freezer in the back that's got all of like the dairy products, right? Yes. And like eggs and stuff. And I had to go. That's where we got our milk for the Starbucks stuff. And so like every once during your shift, you'd have to go on what's called a milk run. And you'd get your fucking giant cart, and you it's all the way at, like, the far end of the yeah. store. So first it's, like, a trek to get there, and then you're running into everybody you know that works there. And then you get to the place, and it's, like, a maze of, like, all of where all the yep. stock is. Yeah. So you're just, like, looking at all the shoes on, like, pallets and shit. And I would also have to get the shipments, too, so those were also, like, in pallets. But anyway, so once you finally find the freezer... The door, like, locks behind you, and it kind of sticks because it's so fucking cold in there. Yeah. And I was always wearing a fucking black polo and khakis. <laughs> so, I'm um, like, my arms are bare. My, like, my one boss always brought, like, a, a sweatshirt to work. I was just not smart. Oh, but, yeah. I never got that extra. Yeah. I was just, yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to run to the fucking locker room before I go on my milk run like a pansy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm going to bear this fucking cold. Winter is coming. Oh, so, anyway, the one day, like, I'm stocking up all the milk. And I always take my good ass time in there. That's oh, where I, I did that shit, too. That's where I check my phone. I did this at the uh, at the dining hall at school. Yes. Yeah, so I can, I can feel you on this. I didn't really get service in there, but whatever. And yeah. I would just see how long I could stand it before I got, like, really cold. And I was like, mm-hmm. I gotta leave. And the one day I, like, was waiting a lot, a lot. <laughs> and then oh my God. the door was stuck and I couldn't. And I'm, like, banging on the door. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm going to fucking die in here. But, like, nothing's going to happen to my body because I'm going to Oh, my freeze. God, yeah. You're going to be just, like, cryogenically frozen I through time. I was honestly, like, you know, in Everest, like, the people that are just, like, oh my part God. of the mountain. I was going to become part of the, the Bucks target. County target. <laughs> <laughs> You would just find uh, me, like, just walk past Barista Rachel, and then you can find the non-dairy. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Geez. So that's that. That's fucking funny. I never got locked in there, although sometimes the door got, like, stuck, and I just had to, like, force it. But... I got it open, but no yeah. one helped me. Oh, wow. No. <laughs> and, like, you have, like, a cart of, like, you... It was how many milks can you fit in the cart, and the, the answer is it was, like, 13. So oh, okay. I'd have, like, 13 gallons of two gallons of milk or whatever (laughs) and so 
I was like, my arms were really nice back in the day. <laughs> Between softball and, and that milk, <laughs> milk and the the fucking scooping. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. So thinking about other foods that come in a lot of variation. Yeah. Do you I'm have not, an idea? I have one. What is it? Pizza. Oh boy. Pizza, you know, there is the vessel, like how the shape, the style of pizza, and then there's also the toppings of True. The pizza. So what kind of pizza do you like best? Like a thin crust, a thick crust, something in the crust, a deep I like dish. A thin crust pizza, but not like too thin, like it's from like a really expensive place because I feel like the thinner the crust sometimes the more expensive, even though there's less density. Yeah. The, it's it's dumb. like definitely a more higher class when you get no crust for some reason. Well, I don't want it to be like super paper thin. Yeah. Like it's just came out of like a brick oven and is on like one of those pizza trays, you know. I don't on want a that. Plank. I want like a thin crust that still has like some al dente ness to it, you know. <laughs> and yes. If you would have talked to me like 2 years ago, my I was barely a topping type of person. Okay. Like, sometimes if my parents got, like, peppers, like, bell peppers, I would just eat that because it was good. But, like, I normally just, like, I want the cheese and the sauce. Like, that's yeah. it. Now, I'm a goat cheese red pepper. Yes, you are. Like, that is my Go-to. type of pizza. You Ugh. are totally into that goat cheese. Not even just on pizza, but just, you know, that goat cheese. In every aspect of my life, <laughs> goat cheese has made a fucking <laughs> statement. <laughs> a little bit too tart for me to have, like... As a staple in my diet. I would eat but... soft serve goat cheese ice cream if, like, oh they did God. like a savory ice cream. That would be interesting. With like, I'm gonna look that up. I bet you that. I exists. bet it exists. Oh, <laughs> they make goat cheese ice cream. That's just like a little bit tart. They that's did. why I like Greek yogurt. Yep. I just like that tartness. Anyway. So the thin crust, but not too thin. Mm-hmm. I'm having a lot of trouble with this. I think I might just go for like a regular. Just a regular crust, you know, not like... Your classic crust. Classic. Not thin, not like ginormous, not stuffed with cheese. I don't like those. I like them on occasion when I'm like really had a lot of alcohol. Yeah. That's when I want like a cheesy crust. Mm-hmm. You know? Do you like deep dish? I do, but like I never had like the real shit. No, so I yeah. much... Where's that? Where's deep dish real popular? Chicago. Like Chicago? Yeah. But, um, I mean... In terms of toppings, I'm kind of like, you know, I'm still... I enjoy my classic cheese. Do you pass on a bubble, or do you embrace the oh, bubble? Oh, I embrace bubble. I pass. Okay, well then There's we're less for each other. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why people are fascinated with the bubbles, including me, but hey, I it's enjoy okay. it. Uh, we all play the game differently. <laughs> back in the day... My dad is so weird. He used, he doesn't like a lot of like extra on things, but he was really into Hawaiian pizza. You know what like is that, on a Hawaiian pizza? It's is like that pineapple, pineapple and ham? ham. Yeah, he was really into those, and I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Like I'd eat. I've it, never but tried it. I'd pass. Also, there was a time in my life I was really into like a barbecue chicken where the sauce was barbecue. Oh, instead, I hated like, that stupid crap. <laughs> yeah, I was into that for a while. Like the bacon pizza. That was at the height of my like I love chicken nuggets and barbecue sauce lifestyle. Yeah, I feel that. I understand. We all made a barbecue <laughs> moment. Yeah. For me, it was the barbecue twisty corn chips that made your vision change when you crunched. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm not sure. They're like Fritos, but they're oh, barbecue. yeah, yeah, those. They look like little rotini pastas. Yeah, yeah. And I every time I would look at a clock and I would crunch and the numbers would move. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. I do that with other shit. <laughs> I love it. Anyway. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything. I... I now don't. I would I would have a lot of things on pizza like I've done a lot but I, used I to be, typically don't need meat on my pizza at all. I was just gonna say I used to be really into like meat lovers, Blech. you know, just everything. meatball like no. Yeah, but I will also fucks with a good tomato tomato pie tomato pie with like a really good tomato sauce, a lot of garlic. It has oh. to be like a really good pizza, and it has like, to have like a good solid crust. How do you feel about Sicilian? Are we making people hungry? Probably. We're probably. I'm really starving. Fucking up right now. Um, 
I'm blanking right now. What's... It's like the square slices that are like really fatty and doughy. Okay. Um, have you ever had that? I have. That was really popular. I typically in my cannot eat as much of Sicilian as I can of like a regular pizza. I like the doughiness, but it's not like an everyday. I would thing. not pick that ever over a regular. Slice. Sometimes I did when I was a kid. You know. Yeah. I would be like, get the Sicilian. Now the real question is. Were you fascinated by the tables? Oh, the little tables in the box? Yes. I was fascinated. I knew what they were for, but I was still like, oh, hey, little table. But did you always know what they were for? Uh, no, I think one day I just kind of like put two and two together. Okay. <laughs> I literally used to think they were a gift for my Barbies. <laughs> like, and I would just keep them in my Polly Pockets and shit. You know, oh hey, I'm pet sure shop. there are many people out there with pizza tables I for the Barbies. And there were like better ones, you know, yeah. Yeah. from certain brands. There used to, did you ever eat like, they used to have like peppers, hot peppers that they would serve with pizzas. Or at least in my hometown they did. Like, uh, no. No, you know what, actually that was when you ordered from Papa John's. They would have like a <laughs> pepper. <laughs> from and, my hometown. From my hometown, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Papa John shit face. <laughs> a classic. Please Google that phrase. Do you fold your slices or do you eat it just like flat? I fold it unless it's like a Sicilian fucking well, rectangle. Yeah, I understand. I'm just saying a regular slice. But yeah, I fold it. I I mean, I only fold it if it's like wide enough to be folded. Without well, yeah, if weird. it's a really like thin slice, then no, like a fold ain't <laughs> necessary. Oh, shit. It's okay. So I wanted to take a BuzzFeed quiz, but before that, I wanted to read some funny fucking iTunes reviews. Oh, that's always a good time. Yeah. So right, if you are my, uh... listening to this ever on iTunes, like 95% of you do, yeah, you can leave us a review and we might read it. <laughs> we, we read them all though, because they're really fun, but we keep forgetting to fucking do it here. Uh, I want to call out first, uh, Andrew... Uh, we see that you really like bagels. Oh, yes. We well, Didn't we talk about this? Did we talk about this? Well, I just saw Andrew's review here. Oh, my God. Please be, read it. It was review number 200, and it just says bagels. I love that. <laughs> I have, like, a whole DM thread of bagels from him. It's great. Uh, all right. You got one? Or I got one. Go first? This one is from Love Lava Love, and it's Chunctious. If the question that crosses your mind is, who is she? Fret not. Rachel will introduce themselves at the beginning of the podcast. Beyond that, this aromatic show has a homey feel that you're actually sitting down and having coffee with Rachel, Chris, and the Chunks. Their nuanced vocabulary will change your life, and they give heartfelt and honest advice. Oh, that was nice. Um, always good stories and a fun listen, a generally upbeat podcast to brighten your Sunday and Wednesday. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. We enjoy that. All right, I got one here. Uh, Best thing that ever happened to me by Carrie the Kid. Coffee with Rachel is hands down my favorite podcast. Listening to Chris and Rachel talk about their lives and random topics while making me laugh out loud every five seconds makes me feel like I'm listening to two close friends of mine and I absolutely love it. Not only do they have my sense of humor, but they talk about so many things I can relate to. I can't get through a work day without listening to their episode since I've been a subscriber since episode one. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> I love them both. I'm so proud of how much they've succeeded in having this podcast. Uh, we are very proud, too. Thank you very much. I love this one. We'll end on this. It just says, this podcast is lit AF. And then <laughs> it just says, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, a chunky chunk fan. <laughs> that. That's the perfect way to describe it. That really sums it up, guys. <laughs> um, so, thank you so much for leaving those wonderful reviews. Yes, thank you so much. All right, so... so use your BuzzFeed. That's what we're doing, right? I found a quiz that I think really relates well to not only our brands, but a lot of yours out there listening. Uh, I'm loading. Okay, you, yeah, I sent it to you, right? <laughs> yes, you did. So, this is... This... <laughs> yes. <laughs> This four-question Gilmore Girls quiz will determine what kind of coffee drinker you are. Well, considering we are currently on season six for, like, the fourth time and drinking Perfect. coffee, great. <laughs> All right. Let's start this off. Which female character do you like best? And I can already tell you these are going to be hard choices all throughout, but yeah. the choices are Lorelai Gilmore, Rory Gilmore, Lane Kim, and Suki St. James. 
Uh, it's gonna have to go Lorelai. I'm gonna have to go Lorelai too. I'm gonna really try and pick different than you, but like this is really difficult. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I already know what we we're gonna have the same answers. Which male character do you like best? Luke Danes, Dean Forrester, Logan Hansberger, and Jess Mariano. You know what's really fucked up? I I didn't realize what Dean's last name was even after all of these times we've okay. Watched. Wow, you're right. You never really hear him say it. No. Wow. Huh. Um, I'm going to have to go with Luke. Yeah. Even though I really? love Jess. It's God just damn Luke it. is Luke. Luke is Luke. Luke. Um, go ahead. Uh, which one of these Stars Hollow locations is your favorite? We got Dosie's Market, Kim's Antiques, Miss Patty's Dance School, and Luke's Diner. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> like, you know I'd be hanging out at Luke's, but also, can't you picture me and Miss Patty and Babette gossiping? <laughs> Yeah, you could totally that one gossip circle. I think I'm gonna have to go with Miss Patty's. I'll go with Luke's because that's always where I'll be. Uh, what's your favorite food from the Gilmore Girls diet? Red vines, pop tarts, malamars, and pizza. Ooh, um, I'm gonna have to go with pizza. I'll go with pop tarts. I knew it. Um, it says you, <laughs> you don't actually even like coffee. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? It says, sure, you have a cup occasionally, but you don't even like the taste of it, and it gets you wired. Like, crazy made you think coffee is some sort of oil you need to get your engine running, but um, if you don't need it, that's amazing. What? <laughs> well, like, that's, that's a rough. lie. I got a straight-up addicted coffee lover. Eat my ass. <laughs> Much like Lorelai and Rory, coffee is your fuel. Without it, you are lost, angry, and less energetic. Those coffee headaches are ugly. With it, you feel like the Energizer Bunny. You will always want, crave, and need coffee no matter the time of day. And it's got a nice gif of Lorelai saying, I need a coffee and an IV. Oh, see, that's me. That is definitely me. So I've been so really hard. trying to cut back because I feel like we drink more often now because we record in like weird times of the day that we normally yeah. wouldn't be drinking coffee. I drink a lot at work, but outside of work, I really don't drink that much anymore. Because you have, like, a whole setup at work, right? Yeah, I mean, and even at work, I don't drink, like, that much because the coffee's not that great. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. It, it's okay. That's so upsetting. The coffee here is great. Uh, yeah. In my office. <laughs> it's always good here. Oh, I just thought of, I tried out that new Starbucks latte. What is it? toasted smoked butter smoked butterscotch or something like that yeah it's and supposed to be like a butter beer thing it didn't really taste that off it tasted like, like a vanilla latte yeah TV. it didn't really taste like much of anything i tasted it i didn't hate it though because it wasn't like overly sweet and that's something that i like <laughs> yeah but i mean i would just get a vanilla because isn't that cheaper yeah any oh, like holiday thing. slash promotional drink is going to yeah. be more expensive mm-hmm but that's fine. What is a flat white? I don't know. We didn't have those when I was working there. I'm confused. It's just something that somebody in Europe was probably doing forever, and then they just decided <laughs> to do it. I can look That it seems up. to be a common theme. That's honestly funny that you say that, because that's the YouTube ab. 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 <laughs> the YouTube ad that I see every time I watch a video, because it's like for Google Ask or whatever. Oh, okay. And it's like, boop, and it's like, what is a flat white? Oh, <laughs> and my it's like, God. Boop. And then I'm like, they never tell you what it is. <laughs> they really want you to fucking use it. Well, guess what? I'm going to use Siri. What is a flat white? Here's some information. Um, it's a flat white. Uh, Australia, just kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> the beverage is prepared by pouring microfoam over a single shot or double shot of espresso. Okay. So what is Starbucks doing? I don't know. Because I feel like that whole cup is not foam. That's weird. And then it says it's more velvety in consistency. So it's basically like a cappuccino, like a spin on a cappuccino, okay. but it's poured differently. Interesting. Because cappuccino, it's not all the velvety foam. It's yeah. just like the whole thing. Melting everything. <laughs> Cappuccinos um, were the easiest to make unless somebody was like, I want it bone dry. And I'm like, okay. What exactly does that mean? That's, they don't want any like liquid milk at all. Like they just want foam and espresso. Oh, okay. So like if you made it, normally you'd heat up a cappuccino to like a hundred and I think it was like 160 degrees. And then like you just poured the whole thing over and it would be like some milk, but a lot of foam, like more foam than normal. Yeah. And then a really dry one was like you heated it up to like 200 and you really let it get aerated. Yeah. That's a lot. I hope those numbers are correct. I don't remember. 
That's uh, okay. I stopped using, like, the fucking thermometer, like, halfway through. <laughs> oh, man. I'll never forget how that mo- milk screamed. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. The milk scream. How many times I burned myself with the steamer. That's why I probably shouldn't Classics. get a fucking milking frother thingy. Oh, my God. I've burned myself plenty of times on the popcorn popper at regal yeah i worked there yeah that kettle gets hot as fuck well you know what they say the hotter the kettle the popper the pop <laughs> now something i wanted to talk about is uh so i don't remember actually my train of thought just completely went when i went well with that limerick. You, you wrote down skinny jeans oh, and I'm, yes. I'm curious as to what this is so i read an article recently that was v interesting And it was basically, like, the entire fashion industry is shitting themselves because ever since the skinny jeans have become popular since, like, the early 2000s, that was, like, a huge moment in fashion, and it changed, like, everything. And apparently they haven't had a big boom in a trend like that since the skinny jean, and, like... Because you only need, like, a few pairs of skinny jeans and, like, there's only so many styles of skinny jeans that you could have. Yeah. Like... A couple of ripped ones, a couple of different colors. Like, people, the demand is, like, not being replenished to buy more of them. And nobody wants to buy, like, other styles of pants, like, in the majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, they're, like, all fucked. Oh, my God. (laughs) They're all, like, losing their shit. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I just have skinny jeans, and I'm not going to want anything other than skinny jeans. Yeah. And, like, I mean, I there are certain, like, wide leg pants are good, like, when you're... Not in, like, a denim. Well, sometimes if it's, like, a really thin denim and you're going for, like, a look. But, like, they're just not practical. Like, think about how wet the bottom of your jeans would be here in Seattle. Yeah, I can... I can remember just even back in Pennsylvania when I was in school and, like, I had oh my, my skater boy jeans <laughs> in middle school and stuff. It and never – I never understood why all the skater boys in, like, middle school wore the baggiest shit because you'd think, like, aerodynamics-wise – Who knows? And, like, they no would idea. trip. I could not tell you. It didn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. You know, rebel against the man. Oh, that's it. That's Probably. it. Probably. But yeah, like when you would walk to school and there's like snow and salt everywhere in the half of your bottoms. The hems would always be destroyed after True. a couple months. Like, it's just, yeah, like your dogs would rip at your jeans and you'd have yeah. like everybody's jeans. I feel like my mic sounds like fuzzy. Am I wrong? No, you're fine. Okay. I just heard like some weird whispering. And oh my god, it's the it demons. Was. It's just the demons. <laughs> they're probably the ones that were in the recorder from this week. Oh shit, yeah, they're escaping. <laughs> but yeah, apparently like all of this super popular like athletic looking casual wear, like you know how like leggings now are even more thick and they have like Yeah, the certain... thicker legging, that's a new thing. Yeah, like the sporty chic look is really popular and like sneakers and everything like that. So that's changing the game, but apparently everybody's really upset about. They're trying. That's why all these companies are like trying to make skinny jeans out and they keep like raising all of these like they're all oh yeah like skinny jeans are gonna be bye bye soon like everyone's like no we still want them like yeah, nobody wants fucking to get rid of great. them i don't want to get rid of them i'm not gonna stop wearing them i can't imagine fashion changing so much that i could not wear them anymore no like how can you make something that just like fits the shape of your leg go out of style exactly you know what i mean nobody's gonna go back for bell bottoms or boot cut or something like that and like my ass looks great like there's nothing yeah. that a fucking flared jean can't offer me that a skinny doesn't exactly you know so that's something <laughs> i just thought that was really interesting because no, i never that's thought fascinating. about it i can't even remember like, it makes me think like what's the next thing going to be because they'll obviously have some sort of breakthrough and like are you just talking about something. like in pant or like in in any in fashion I would say. Like, it could be even footwear or something. I don't know. But well, I, don't I, know. Could t- I could tell you, like, at least uh, in men's pants, like, the new style is to have, like, kind of, like, sweatpant style pants. Yeah. But they're, they're they like, tighter. Tighter, and they have a really large uh, elastic at the bottom, so that way it still kind of, like, has the general shape of a skinny leg mm-hmm. but it's a little, it's a little tapered yeah but it's like baggier than a normal pant and it's yeah soft. and that's like the new sweat pant i like them because they like yeah. every everyone's ass looks great mm-hmm. and they look really comfortable like and uh, it gets rid of the extra fabric at your fucking feet again like, yeah i like them yeah those are great i don't hate it i like all like the long john looking 
pants that guys are wearing now, like the more casual pants that are like kind of skinny and fit, but they're soft and they might have like a pattern to them and like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, they're they're cute. I like it. I don't know too much about fashion to try and like predict what the next oh, yeah, I have no fucking trend idea. is going to be or something. Yeah. I mean, we were all wearing the flare jeans. We had no <laughs> fucking idea. I had flare jeans with like all of the distressing. I had flare jeans with patches, embroidery. I actually had apple bottom jeans. I know. That my mom bought for me. And I was like, Mom, I am too young to wear these. <laughs> this is not. I was like That's in, not appropriate. I was like in middle school and like I had two apples on my ass, like on each cheek. And like I didn't have an ass. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? I was like, how old? <laughs> like 12. And you know, for the longest time, that one song, I had no idea what. Oh my God. That that was like a actual like brand of jean. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if the song came first, the chicken or the oh, egg. Oh, I'm sure the song came after the jean. I guess so. I don't even remember. I just remember being like, I don't really get the point. Like, why do I have fruit on my butt? And like, now <laughs> I understand. Yeah. <laughs> now I get it. And I'm like, wow. Interesting. I was getting pants that had lots of pockets and zippers and such and usually came with a wallet on a chain. Oh my god, that is so true. Oh my god, junior girls pants were like they always came with a belt or like a keychain or like a clip-on flower. Like you yeah. got accessories and with your jeans. Boys pants always came with a velcro wallet on a yeah. fucking chain. Yeah. Yeah. That's so funny. I used to have like the glitter sprayed jeans. <laughs> glitter was so in though, like we were glitter on everything yeah. or the grommets yep. or like anything that had like gems on it, like little bedazzling looking shit. My dad used to be so mad at the whole distressing trend. Your dad would. That he was, was like, like, you know, like people. you could buy a pair of brand new pants and it'll eventually get like that. I could do that for three minutes, you know, like, and I could sandpaper your pants and it'll look just like this. That is like the new thing that the baby boomers are upset about. Or like that was at the time, like... Yeah, definitely. Distressed jeans, all these youths with their fucking spending more money on less product and blah, blah, blah. And now it's like, oh, these youths voting for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> oh, my God. It's other things. But, yeah, God. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I also They had... were expensive, though. Like, oh, yeah, my God. Were... Back when you had to fucking shop at Abercrombie to be, like, socially okay or whatever. <laughs> That, that was not me. Expensive. I no. was I was a Kohl's shopper. You were a Kohl's kid. Yeah, I was a Kohl's kid. I was a Macy's Junior's Department kind of broad. Also, uh, Strawbridges. Remember oh Strawbridges? My God, Strawbridges. I don't think I've ever shopped in one, but I know of their existence. My mom was a frequenter of the Strawbridges and the Boscovs. Boscovs. Okay. Boscovs. Yeah, the less bougie bonton. Yeah, it is the less bougie bonton. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. No, nah, never a Sears. Or... No. Sears was like, you have to buy a lawnmower. Sears was already <laughs> on the decline by the time we were of age of buying things. And pennies, like, pennies was on the up and up once we got to high school. Like, pennies yeah. was bad, and then all of a sudden they started getting, like, Mary-Kate and Ashley stuff, and then yeah. they got cool. They're not really cool, but, like, <laughs> you could get a good deal there. You know what I mean? And Kmart was always just a boop. Yeah, I never went to Kmart. We we had the Target. Like, yeah. I don't know. I, I mean... We didn't even I, have a Walmart close by. Oh, see, I had a Walmart, so that's where we were going until a Target came. My to mom town. was really elitist about Walmarts, you know. Well, I would not have been shopping at Walmart if I had had a Target beforehand. But hey, they have good deals too, though. Their makeup section, they have a lot of really good like at beauty Target deals. Or- Walmart. At Walmart, at Target, like yeah. beauty stuff is expensive. Tbh, Target. they carry a lot, but. Target's a little bit more impressive now. It used to be so cheap. Like, when we bought stuff for college dorms. Yes. Like, I know we spent a lot of money on it. But, like, when I went back, like, two years later to Target and looked at their college dorms, like, section just for shits and giggles. Like, it was so expensive. I think I got my stuff. stuff at Walmart. Oh, really? Yeah. What was your freshman year, like, college dorm theme? Like, everybody had, like, a color scheme. Yeah, mine was Dark blue and gray. Ah. Uh, you remember that stuff? The classic navy blue. The classic boy blue and gray. I was reading an article. Not an article. It was like some stupid thing. And it was like guys that you know and guys that you meet or whatever. And one of them was like the navy inevitable like navy blue sheets that hide all stains. And yeah. that you don't know when they've been washed. And I was like, that's so, so real. So real. It's very fucking gender roles. But however, it's it's really real. <laughs> Um, so what was your... Mine was purple. 
purple. We still have some was, of your purple tie or some of your purple towels. I know they're really good for when I dyed my hair red. Yeah, that's why we have them. Yeah, um, I had like a, I had purple bedding, purple like fucking uh, what is that? An extension cord. Yeah, we still have that too. Oh, uh, I had everything, and it was just because like you could go to Target and there were like three colors. It was like yeah. the navy blue, the purple, and like a green probably, and it was probably like a neon. Yeah. I love green though. I wanted green. That would have been cool. Yeah. And then you had to like coordinate with your roommate. Well, you probably no, didn't. I but didn't. my roommate, we were like, what color are you reading? Well, my first roommate, he like didn't really have anything. He just had eight guitars. He just had eight guitars and a set of golf clubs. What a Logan Huntsberger. He was like, a, except like not having a lot of things, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Logan Huntsberger with a minimalist college A minimalist Logan Huntsberger. <laughs> Can I have the coffee? Uh, yeah. There you go. And then my second roommate was never there and was just, his theme was trash. Oh, yeah. So. It was it was definitely trash. Because <laughs> there was a lot of, there was an industrial trash can. Like, the yeah, kind so that we were going outside. for the industrial theme. That's what we were going for. That's true. <laughs> I don't even remember. Oh, I had like palm tree fucking bed sheets. Remember those? I, oh, yeah. I they were like. Those. You know, tropical looking. I don't know. I tried. Like, at one point, I tried to have, like, a Marie Antoinette theme. That was not possible in a college dorm. No, don't try that. Not. I had, like, antique fucking teacups that, like, kept breaking. And, like, <laughs> I just hated life. God. And then our first apartment was, like, movie theater sheet. Oh, my God. We were going to do that because, like, I had a lot of movie posters that I had collected from work from work and then, all of those like cardboard centerfold yeah, things i have oh my god i don't think i've ever talked about this i have and it's still at my house uh a cardboard stand thingy of harry ron and hermione from the premiere of the final harry potter movie didn't you have to like really fight people oh to get my that? god there was three of us so there was like three stands i'm gonna try and remember all the people there's harry ron hermione then there was I think uh, there was like a, there was Snape, a Voldemort. Snape and Voldemort and Draco. And then, oh God, I couldn't remember who else was What's on the What's her face? Life. Helena Bonham, her. Yeah. Uh, and maybe fuck. Neville was there. I don't know. Oh yeah, Neville. And then. <laughs> no, I'm just throwing no, out names. No, you're, you're totally <laughs> Nagini, right. Nagini, my bitch. No, not Nagini. Nagini's and my the, favorite character from the whole series, guys. Just letting you know. <laughs> and then there was somebody else Ooh, too. the owl. Huffle. <laughs> no, not Huffle, but. Wait, uh, what not, was the owl's uh, name? Not, uh, uh fuck. Uh, <gasps> Hagrid. Hedwig. Oh, shit. Wow, Hagrid. Okay, it wasn't Oh, Hagrid. my God, they're so fucking close. They both have wig. <laughs> but Remember my Hedwig obsession for, like, yeah. weeks? <laughs> I really wanted Snape, but I made a deal with somebody else that she, <laughs> she got Draco and Snape. And I got the the trilogy. I got... You got the three. I got the three. Harry, Ron, Hermione. And you know what? I think I w- walked out a winner on that. Did because, they, does your parents still have that at your house? Yeah. My mom still has that. And also has my Inception one as well. <gasps> the Inception one was literally a fucking cube. A four-sided thing it that took Leo. up all of the space in his bedroom. It had Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Ellen Page. And Tom Hardy and yeah. Leo. A and really then, attractive cardboard cutout. Yeah, we were, we were rotating it around so that way you could have, like, when you were sleeping over at my house, like, whoever you wanted looking at you in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was really creepy. <laughs> and it, he had, like, a really small bedroom, and yeah. it took up, like, so much space. And I wasn't getting fun of it. Yeah, yeah, but then you took it down when we got squeezy. <laughs> yeah. And we had to have squeezy in there. But, uh, so yeah, we tried to do a, a movie theme, because I had a lot of cool posters too, and there's, I still have them as And like, well. how else do you decorate, like, a really shitty first apartment? Exactly. Like, posters. Like, that's how you do it. So then we bought, like, these couple, of, like, random, like, signs online that said, like, concessions. Oh my god, Bathroom yeah. or something We like had that. them up, like, we had the concessions ones by our shitty kitchen. And the restrooms by the bathroom. And we had your mom's popcorn bowls. Mm. And we were going to use those as, like... A bowl, I yeah. don't know. And so, in like hindsight, we were like, oh my god, we're doing a movie theater theme here. And people but then, thought it was cool. Like, people did. They were into it. Yeah. It, we had over Oh my red... god, you had that giant Captain America one in the living room that like... Yo, yeah, that's like a fucking over the banner. Couch. Yeah. yeah, it was huge. Yep. And then our second apartment... We didn't, I don't know. We didn't we, really have a theme. We didn't try. We did not try. We were just like, we want to get the fuck out of here. We all were so busy and nobody like... Was home. Well, I know our roommates were trying to go for Parisian. 
But that didn't even happen. Yeah, I know. We didn't even, I mean, the most that we did was, like, when we moved in, the bedroom that we were living in was, like, this really dark blue. And I knew that, like, at the time, it would be really, like, Horrible. making the lighting for filming really yeah, terrible. Yeah, And so we painted it, like, a light mint green so that it would be yeah. better. And that looked nice. <laughs> yeah. And then we had that cat that lived outside. (laughs) Oh, and Squeezy was there, and Squeezy never had so much fucking fun. Just kidding. He hated (laughs) that place, because the cat upstairs hated him. In hindsight, we should have painted fish on the walls and just kept it dark blue. Could have had a nice aquarium theme going on. Oh my god, you're right. We could have gone, like, really in on that. We could have. Can you guys imagine if, like, for an entire year, the background of my videos was, like, a shitty painted aquarium, (laughs) and, like, we're not in a dentist's office in, like, the kid wing, (laughs) you know? (laughs) That's so real. And then we moved to Seattle. And now we are doing... And we did what we could do with, like, the first apartment, and we made it look, like, kind of cute, and then now here it looks nice. Yeah, and eventually we will have another apartment tour to show off our style, kind yeah. of what we've done. One is fully decorated. Yeah, we're like, we bought like a bunch of things, and now we're taking a break from like adding anything to it. Like, I know I want to get some more things on the walls and like a couple more like decorative shits, but like we're just holding off until I need to buy clothing for the spring. That's what yeah, I need. I just need like couple of things as well so that's our next step yeah we got the crock pot and we got the julienne peeler and that was nice little upgrade for the kitchen yeah and having a crock pot guys if you have any crock pot recipes especially like healthy ones please tweet them to the coffee with rachel twitter which is yeah. just coffee I'm about to make w. some more stew after this yeah because that's really good i know we talked about a crock pot before because i said i was gonna like hard boil eggs in it yes but Oh, yeah. I'm excited. There's definitely more kitchen gadgets that we want to get yeah. to eventually. I'm just waiting. I love kitchen gadgets. I just really need clothes. Like, I only have one pair of open-toed shoes. <laughs> oh, my God. And, like, they they work great. They're black, so they go with everything. And they have a brown heel, so they go with literally everything. Yeah. And so they were from Forever 21, and they were, like, the greatest shitty shoe choice I've ever made. And they Those still haven't fallen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. They're still hanging on. They still haven't That's fallen wild. apart. Surprising. And I don't know how, because you guys <laughs> know. You know the struggle. But we have, like, a gift card that we never spent from Christmas for H&M and shit, and I want to get some clothes. Yes. I'm excited. Uh, speaking of which. What? I just totally th- remembered this. Uh, this is going up on Sunday. Tomorrow's my birthday. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, this is the chance to get in your happy birthdays, binges. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just kidding. So, our March plans. 14th. What are our plans, Chris? Uh, well, it's the same thing we did for your birthday, but I like it too. With a twist. <laughs> With a twist. We're going to Portage Bay. We're actually going to go early enough in the day to grab the breakfast menu. during Because yeah. during the weekday is the only sort of breakfast till like, like, I don't 10 know. or something. I don't know what fucking time, but... Yeah, we want that breakfast menu, that full menu. I really hope that they can't hear the fucking music that just suddenly started blasting. I'm sorry if you do. I'm sorry about that. We're just adding an extra little flair. Yeah. Originally, I was going to be cooking tonight, um, like the night before his birthday. I was going to make him shepherd's pie, which is what his mom's, like, his favorite dish from his mom. You know, classic PA Dutch food right here. Yeah. Shepherd's pie. And, like, I got the recipe and everything, and then you were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, think, I don't know why. I just, I just figured why not just go to Portage Bay and just fuck it all. He thinks I'm going to fuck it up. No, I don't. I don't think you're going to fuck it up. Maybe just, he's like, like not we're not going to make it, it like Vicky makes it. I get it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Listen. Look, I don't care. I've actually never had shepherd's pie before, so I don't even know how I do with making it, but I would have done my I darkest. thought you would have had it at least once while dating nah. me. We were half PA. We were we were Philly Jew, and we were Philly Italian. There was no Dutch oh, food happening. I was just meaning in, like, in your time being at my house. Like, I don't think your mom ever made it. Maybe she... It, it's not like that often that this is yeah, made. Yeah, it must have been a rare occurrence. I was not there for that. Yeah. That's well, fine. I had a mix of, you know, the PA Dutch food from my mom's side and just boring, basic American foods on my dad's side. So, Where um, is your dad from originally? Uh, my dad's side of the family is Welsh. Okay. Yeah. And your mom's side is But that's, really, that's like PA really, Dutch. really far back. And yeah, that's my mom's wow, side. Wow. Like they originated like... 
I have no idea. I don't know my lineage that well. Oh, damn it. We'll ask. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll go on that show that Josh Groban was on. Oh, my God. Or they trace their history or whatever. All I know is that eventually, at one point, uh, my grandpa on my dad's side found a family tree of the Hubbards. Oh. And it was made in the year between my sister being born and me being born. So I wasn't on this tree. <laughs> but... They should have just drew on a little branch, a little twig. <laughs> uh, but it went pretty far back, and I think the only thing to note was, like, there was one of the Hubbards was a commander in some army in some war. Wow. Yeah. So specific. Yeah, I know. A lot of specifics. Damn. I couldn't, I couldn't remember exactly. That's I think okay. it was a naval commander of a ship. Intrigue. Yes. Oh, I could see boats. Yeah, I could see that. I could see boats in your past, you know? Well, it's weird because my... Celtic my, knots. <laughs> my, my family's thing is like railroads. Like, my grandpa worked on railroads. Then my dad is an engineer for railroads. Oh. And so, you know... Uh, and I think my grandpa's dad was also in the railroad industry. And so, like, that was, like, my destiny. Then here I go, I went for meteorology, and now I'm doing, like, tech shit. <laughs> well, your dad's not working on railroads. He's a civil engineer, and he does railroad stuff for PennDOT. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he's working on railroads! <laughs> yeah, he's working All on railroads. All the live long day. Um, what, is, what does he do? The Reading Railroad? <laughs> oh, my God. b and <laughs> What else? Oh, fuck. Hit me. Hit oh, me with another. Oh, my God. What are they? What are they? Short line. Short line, I yeah. Right oh, shit. What's the last one? b and Reading, yeah. short. Uh, who fucking? Is it the, it's not Pennsylvania, is it? It could be. It might be. Who who fucking knows? Oh honestly, we've played a lot of Monopoly. I feel. <laughs> in our past. I am a big fan of Monopoly. I know you are. What's your favorite space on the Monopoly board? I, well, I already know. Free parking. Oh, okay. well, if you play with the good rules, I mean, free parking. Like the properties you buy. Oh, my favorite property. I know what they are. It's not just one singular one. What is it? It's the four railroads. You always go yeah. for the four railroads. Because okay. you know what? That's the smartest way to fucking win Monopoly. I think the the four railroads, like, you won't win just by having those but four. But you get that but... edge. You get the steady income. And yeah, that's be a the steady last income. <laughs> that I always play like that. I get the four railroads, and then I go after the greens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel that. And those... Because that's bougie on the blue side of the board, but it's, it's not... It's not blue, which is, like, rare. You, It's hard you to land really on You don't really hit them, one. yeah. Exactly. And people always go crazy over yeah. those. But you go for the green or the yellow, mm-hmm. and then you have all four railroads. You land on fucking free parking a couple of times. You have the win. Yeah. And I always played as the thimble. I always go for the first half. I My favorite is the light blues on the first row. I know you love those. And I also, I love just to be lame. I love the brown ones or dark purple, whichever board you're playing. Yeah. What is it? Baltic and yeah. Mediterranean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them for some reason. They never get hit. Because in... you can go right to hotel on those. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So that's where I typically like to go. Fuck those utilities. They never really pan out. The electric and the water company. It's true. It's like every once in a blue moon. (laughs) The railroads are really where it's at because people are landing on them left and right. I want to play Monopoly now. Yeah, me too. We don't have a Monopoly board. We just have the fucking Xbox game. Yeah. And they like the computers. They always go the same exact route so I can always tell what they're going to do. It's yeah, guys. Lame. See, look up from your devices. <laughs> Break out an old board from a dusty box. <laughs> Dust <sighs> off those wooden houses. All right, let's get into bench time. Bench time, Rooney. All right, uh, these are the kind of people that are supporting us via Patreon. Uh, you can go to patreon.com slash coffee to learn more. So what's the topic for tonight, Chris? Well, we talked a lot about food. Yes, we did. <laughs> so I think we're just going to do what the benches are as food. Perfect. Simple. It's a classic. All right. Uh, start off. Kate Convery. Kate Concord Grapes. Love it. <laughs> Nicole Dowling. Nicole Dow. <laughs> uh, uh, wow. All right. Nicola Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola. Uh, Caitlin Shelda. Uh. Nicole or uh, Kate Lynn's or Tarts. Oh my god, I was gonna Caitlin Shallot. You don't need to comment after every single one. Carissa. Uh K 
caramel. <laughs> Taylor Collins. Uh, uh, tasty cakes. <laughs> Heather Ann. Heather Animal Cracker. Perfect. Maddie Basso. Maddie, uh... Bass. Bass. This is about a nice bass. <laughs> Just nicely broiled bass. <laughs> Sloan Fuller. Uh... Sloan. Slow cooked pork butt. Oh my god, pork butt. The resurgence. <laughs> Emma Corbeil. Uh, Emma... Cordon Bleu. Oh, damn it. Haley Dixon. Haley Dixie Cup ice cream thingy that we talked about earlier. <laughs> Danielle Manus. Danielle uh, Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. <laughs> Stephanie. Uh, stuffing. Stuffing. Works. Angelica Feliz. Uh, Lee. Angel hair pasta. Okay. <laughs> uh, Catherine Simpson. Uh, simple bolognese. <laughs> Marlene Nige. Uh, um, lean cuisine. <laughs> Gio Castro. Uh, uh Gio Cas uh, Cashews. Okay. Leatrice Potter. Uh, Beatrix Yogurt. <laughs> Taylor Van Edie. Uh, Edie's Ice Cream. Cater Liriano. Uh, Cater... Uh... Oh, God. Uh, Gatorade. <laughs> Rebecca O'Donnell. Um... Rebecca... Onion rings. <laughs> Kelsey Gillis. Kelsey weed chips. <laughs> Sammy Listed. Lipton iced tea. Michaela Barrel and Jerry. Uh, Mi- Michaela Ben and Jerry's. Oh my god, perfect. <laughs> uh, Brittany Chella. Uh, Brit needs more Sri Racha sauce. Uh, Kendall <laughs> Berg. <laughs> Uh, iceberg lettuce. Damn it! <laughs> Went too fast. Allie McGregor. Allie Mickey McDouble. <laughs> Megan Grilly. Megan. Grilled shrimp. All right. Chloe Killip. Chloe Kelp seeds. What? <laughs> Ian... Kelp is a plant, Chris. I guess they have seeds. Ian Murphy. Ian M- M- Mur. Manwich. <laughs> Kayla Cross. Hot Cross Buns. Grace Leedy. Grace Leaky. Like, leaks? Yeah. Leaks. <laughs> Dr. Leaky. Cassandra Buckout. Buckwheat. <laughs> Buckwheat Pancake. Casey McDaniel. Casey Mick. Uh, Mick. McCormick Spices. Oh, wow. Cayenne. Ooh. Dana Marie Smith. Danimals. <laughs> Always. Maddie Pullman. Maddie Polish ice cream. I know that's a thing. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's a thing. Amanda Marie. Marie Calendars. Bye bye. Jane Shell. Shell. Soft shell crab. Yes. Camellia Mulkey. Malted milk balls. Caitlin Whalen. Ooh. <laughs> Watermelon. <laughs> Hannah Neely. Hannah Ham Oh Ma. <laughs> Lucy Ravenscroft um, uh, Lucy Ravenscraft Macaroni and Cheese <laughs> Sarah Fairbanks uh, Sarah Fair Banging on pots and pans <laughs> <laughs> How about Sarah Fair Trade Organic Non-GMO pans Yes <laughs> Okay. Uh, Cody Robinson. Uh, Codelicious jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Tegan Anderson. Tegan uh, Andy's mints. Perfect. Lauren Siobhan. Lauren Schiff. Sh- Sherbert. Schiff and Odd. Either, whatever. <laughs> Either one. Amber Phillips. Amber, fill up my pitcher with lemonade. <laughs> Allison Francois. Allison. Uh, Cloisters. Frank. 
Like a hot dog. A Frank. Haley Cadwalder. Haley. Codwalder. Whoa. <laughs> Katie Gallardo. Katie Donut. Gallardo. No, don't. Okay. Tina Tompkins. Tina. Uh. Uh. uh Tomato. All right. Sarah Seaman. Sarah Seaweed. Um, crisps. Okay. It's different than the chips. <laughs> Dana Daly. Uh, Dana Daly chewable vitamin. That's a food group. <laughs> Megan Wilson. Megan Eggs Benedict. Megs Benedict. <laughs> Kelly K. Uh, Special K cereal. Perfect. Claire Wood. Claire Wood smoked salmon. Oh, all right. <laughs> Kelly Adams. Kelly additional avocado for extra. Extra. <laughs> Temple Murray. Temple Mur- Murray's cheese. Yep, that's where I was going. Hannah Peterson. Hannah Peter Pan peanut butter. Yes. That texture. Jenna Gordnier. Jenna Roasted Gourd. <laughs> Sasha. Uh, soft. Taco. Yeah. Brandy Coats. Uh, brandy Balls. I'm sure. Mm, rum Balls? You yeah. Know, same you know. thing. Sarah. Uh, seared Ahi. <laughs> the Christmas. Seared Ahi. Bridget Dubin. Uh, Bridget. Uh,. Do bins of raspberries. Uh, Grayson Clark. Uh, Grayson Clam Chowder. Perfect. <laughs> Flynn Vance. Uh, Van. Mm. Van. What's that meat that deer make? Venison. Oh. Venison. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Gay. Uh, Hillshire Farms. Go. <laughs> I hate how often that comes up. I know marketing is truly won there. <laughs> uh, Anna Hernandez. Uh, hers. Chips. Puffed cheese things. Oh. Uh, Jennifer Holtz. Uh, f- Jen- Jennifer donut holes. You know, like the little balls. Yes. Holes. Uh, Courtney White. Courtney White. White. New England clam chowder. Oh my. God. Uh, Elizabeth Dole's. Oh, can of Dole pineapple bites. You, can, you know we can't not do that. Shelly Smith. Uh, uh, shelled pistachios. Ooh. I know. Mackenzie Knight. Uh, Ken's Macintosh dressing. Apple. Perfect. <laughs> Rachel Evans. Uh, Rachel Bob Evans. <laughs> It's just Bob Evans. Just Bob Evans food. All right, what are the other benches? Oh, my God. They are like, you know, a bunch of grapes, like a whole pound of grapes. Yeah. They're just the rest of the grapes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know? Oh, shit. All right, fine. Sarah Young. Uh Oh, my God. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, what are you doing? sorry, you. Kathleen Wynn. Carthy Hoon. Elena Barcia. Alaba Barboopa. Zoe Yarmowich. Zabi Yarbidu. Katie Hart. Cardi Hope. Elizabeth Holbrook. Alaba the Hobbit. Brynja. Brappa. Jackie Brajulio. Jarpy Blagapadu. Hannah May. Harnamu. Jackie Lampo. Jarky Lampu. Rose Barnett. Robin Barnabu. Jax. Jarks. And Megan Preyas. I'm Morgan Pruba. All right. Thank you, benches. For supporting the show. I hope you guys are really hungry now because I sure as fuck am. I know. I feel like <laughs> I need to eat like 12 meals now after this. I hope I can restrain myself yeah so hopefully this goes up and everything is cool and we will see you guys on wednesday wait thursday whoa throwback i read that one review and it fucked me up (laughs) the one that said because it was probably written when we were still doing wednesdays but yes anyway all right well uh we will talk to you guys on thursday all right bye bye that was a headgum podcast